So lastly, we're going to make one ourselves instead of using a prop. What we're going to do is create a block about the size of the other ones. And make sure it's the correct width. There we go. Press enter. And let's give it some sort of texture. So shift A, browse, and let's give it a wood texture. I'm going to give it that guy. Press apply. And if you want the grain to go the other way, because that's usually how lateral will be, press shift A, and you're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So in the rotation, put 90 and then enter. So now you see the um, grain is the correct way. It's a little bit too big, so let's scale the texture down by pressing down on the X and the Y once. So now it looks good. Looks like a nice piece of wood. And what we're going to do, get it so you're zoomed in on your bird's eye, and pretty much zoomed in on your front view of it, and go up to right here, which is the third from the left, and you're going to click Smaller Grid. You can also hit the left bracket. But yeah, click it until you have your grid be a little bit smaller, so this way we can deal with it and make a nice size grid and make it actually look good. So what you're going to do is use your clipping tool and clip out, what you're going to clip out is the, the left and the right um, part of it. So make sure it's white on both sides. If not, click the clipping tool until it is like so. Press enter. Now click on the other side and you're going to cut out the other side as well. So now as you see you have two sides left, right, left, right. Now we're going to make the rungs. So you're going to drag this, this top part down a little bit so, we, so it's like that. And I think we want the rungs to be smaller so let's make our grid a little bit smaller with the left bracket or this button up here. So as you see it's become smaller than before. Now we're going to cut out using the clipping tool, going horizontal, and we're going to cut out a few. So cut, 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 cut. You can keep doing this to the bottom if you want to, but a nice easy way to do this is to select the ones in the middle, like so, and delete them. So now we only have these right here, and you can hold on to uh, control, select all of them and then holding shift now, pull it down and it's going to duplicate the ones you had selected. So now you have three more that are the same. Holding sh control again, click all of them and holding shift again, drag them all down. There we go, have the same ones. Uh, you can do that one more time. And there we go, maybe delete the bottom one. So there are stairs. If you want to adjust them a little bit, maybe make the outsides not as big like that, you can drag them in. Now we have a letter. Um, what you can do is we're going to create another one of these blocks with the same texture. But instead of doing that, let's just drag it in our bird's eye view, holding shift, and drag it across. And let's put it in front in our bird's eye view. Make sure it's only a thin sliver in front of our ladder. Holding on to Alt if you want so it doesn't snap to the grids. Okay, we have three ladders now. Let's make our stairs. You're going to make a block somewhere off of... Oh, um, make the grids bigger again by clicking either the right bracket or this button up here to the top left. So make them big. So make a block that juts off of the area over here. You can make it as wide as you want, like so. Let's give it a different texture. So shift A, browse, I'm gonna get let's give it a cement texture. Cement apply. Okay. Now we're gonna use our clipping tool and in the bird's eye view, we're going to start cutting it into sections like so. If you want to not have to do this over and over again, we can delete the rest and hold down the control, click all of them, and then hold shift like before, drag it across, drag it across, drag it across. So now we have all these different segments and we didn't really have to do much work.
So, we're going to go in our side view. Let's do this one right here. And we're going to start dragging them down. So click on each individual one, drag it. Make sure you have all of them selected, holding control. Go all the way across. Oops. Okay, and then we're going to drag it down. Dra drag it down one. Holding control, click the one that's all the way to the right. Drag them down again. Click the one all the way to the right. Drag them down again. And just keep doing this over and over again until you have reached the ground. Now you can use this same method and you can make stairs of different widths, different heights. You'll find that they have to be a certain, um, they can't be too tall or you won't be able to walk up them because they're too steep. So it'll be something like this and you'll be left maybe with a few extra. So just delete the rest of those. And there you go, you got some stairs. Uh, you can make some hand railings also using the clipping tool. But yeah, that's just you using your imagination. Um, what I find is nice is to change the texture of each of the individual stairs, or I mean like the ones facing us, change it to a different color. So that way when you walk up to it, you can actually see that they're stairs. Because yeah, like if you're looking at it from a certain angle, it just looks like a wall, and you don't want that. So yeah, there you go. There are your three stairs, and there is your ladder. Or there are your three ladders, there's your stairs. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I compiled the map, and we'll just test out these ladders. As you see, you can go up and down, up and down, and up and down, and down the stairs and up them. So yeah, um, with the handmade stairs, you probably want to give them a little bit more flair, maybe change the texture a little bit. You can make the uh, the left and right vertical parts, uh, maybe cylinders if you want to. So yeah, uh, have fun, you guys.